Riding for me is a great way for me to have me time, get some connection to the earth as a someone with a non-traditional tech background. Where, you know, I can come to this place where I'm like totally fluent, remember that, you know, I have power and kind of a, a innate intelligence, I guess, um, outside of the, the pressures of the tech world. I always used to say that stunting motorcycles is just like riding a horse. For me, it's about finding a rhythm with another, like with a horse, it's another creature. And with it's a motorcycle, it's, you know, you're, you're one with the motorcycle. That kind of extension of your physical body is, is a really cool experience and, you know, breaking down these big tricks or these big skills into like little bite-sized pieces, whether it's, you know, learning basic wheelies or, you know, just learning how to, to understand if a horse is stressed out or, or calm, you know. But I started thinking about more of my long-term career and what I wanted out of my life and my job and decided that, you know, it wasn't crashing motorcycles for a living. I ended up taking an online coding course in Python and kind of had this aha moment where I was like, not only can I do this, which I didn't think was previous, previously possible, um, but it's fun. Like, I really like solving these problems. Yeah, there's not a whole lot. So I actually, what's, what part of the problem is that my, my um, I have a PR sitting in the controller. Okay. I that. started using GitLab about a year and a half into my career, and it was certainly the first platform where I was like, I feel so at home here. Like I have that confidence to say, okay, where can I start? Like where's the smallest foundational brick? And for me, DevOps um, and Kubernetes is kind of like we're the plumbers of the internet. So you really have to know these like solid foundational components of like how things fit together and how things are, are flowing through the internet. I work for a team in Samsung SDS called the Cloud Native Computing Team, and I'm a DevOps engineer on that team. So we deal primarily with containers and Kubernetes and helping companies modernize and move to the cloud. My team is super unique. So we were kind of treated as like an incubated startup within Samsung. So we're really given a lot of autonomy to make our own decisions. And we had a really excellent CTO who prioritized diversity and he became involved with the boot camp that I went through, Ada Developers Academy. And so he's made a huge effort to, to make the team really inclusive. So we're interested in using GitLab because of its Kubernetes native capabilities. I feel like a lot of technologies are, they weren't built precisely for what you're using them for. When we moved our platform to GitLab, um, it was very clear that GitLab was a cloud native product and that it was made for Kubernetes. Like this is what it was made for. I really love how GitLab as a company kind of stands by their values. Um, everything I have read about them online and also just seen expressed in their products and the people who work for their company is that they're truly open source and they're truly caring about their users. I definitely wish that I could tell everyone about the opportunities in the tech industry today. Companies need engineers like crazy, like everyone is recruiting, everyone is always hiring and they just cannot fill these positions fast enough. And it's kind of like a modern day gold rush in a way um, because you know we're using tech in every aspect of our life and, and these companies like kind of can't build it fast enough. I, th I see that as an open door for like everyone to come in. Like let's all, get, let's all get involved and become a part of building this tech that's like shaping our lives. <laughs>